Okay, guys, just a quick video before we call we call it a day. We were just reading the support tickets as always, and we came across this ticket and we couldn't uh, go to sleep without actually checking it out and testing. So we don't load the the zip file and run it and it's a beauty. So let's review quickly what we have here to see why, why we didn't go to sleep and we decided to review this a little further. So pretty much the right here, we're integrating a custom control in SAS Blazor. And if you see here, the software who actually is trying to integrate the custom control, he wants to integrate the Gantt. But uh, the... Hold on, Javier, one second. Um, first question. Is he trying to integrate what type of control? It's like a blazer control. No, it's a dev extreme control. The dev extreme Gantt. And we actually okay. we can actually Google it quickly. But that's not the one that we are going to show, but I think that is the same concept. And I think that is really neat. So this one it should be. Let's see. That one. It doesn't show completely, but it's pretty much a Gantt implementation. So if we the main point of the of the video is see how, is see how we can integrate this type of control. So the great thing about Blazor is that you imagine it, you can integrate it. Just any HTML, JavaScript, any Blazor control, you can actually use it in your SAS Blazor app. So okay, let's go directly to the code and see it first in action, and then we go through the implementation. So let's run it. What they actually implemented here is not the GAN control, it's just a dev extreme grid. So if you see when the application loads, we won't have the, the, the normal grid that we have in SAF. We will, we will have the dev extreme grid. And that one is communicating by JavaScript all the time. And the beauty of Blazor is that we can call JavaScript method from uh, .NET and we can call .NET method from JavaScript. Okay, so. Uh, one question, Javier. So this means that with this approach, basically we can use any dev extreme control on SAF. I mean, it will be like the same idea, right? Basically. Absolutely, absolutely. And we are talking about dev extreme because we are dev express fans, but any JavaScript control that you have, it doesn't have to be dev extreme. It can be any open source library, any grid, any Kanban board, anything that you see over there that is an implementation through JavaScript and HTML, you can put it here. Well, the good thing is that it's going to be like at least the same idea because they are the same company. So just different platforms, but at least you will have like um, the same support. Yeah, and, and everything like that. So it's better to just if you don't find anything on Blazor at the moment. So I think it's a good idea to just go and check DevExtreme Extreme because they might have it because DevExtreme Extreme is older. I, I think that I used DevExtreme Extreme like eight years ago for the first time. Long time ago. Either way. Uh, I just say that it's not only limited to dev string. It's, you can use any JavaScript control, but definitely dev string has some really great controls. So definitely check out. And one thing that I definitely am with you there, Jose, is that you will have dev express support, and that definitely is my go-to. Yeah. If I have to choose between two controls and I can have dev express support, I will go from that one. So. If you see, we don't have the the, the normal Dev Express grid, and we have a, the Dev Extreme one with different implementation, with pagination, and so on, so on. So let's take a look quickly at the implementation. And this is the first thing that caught me at my attention. If you see, they are injecting here a new service called, and at least it's new for me, application provider. And the great thing about that is that we can have our application provider called the get application method and we will have our application here where we can create a get space and do everything we need. Before that, we used to do value manager to have the application every part of our uh, application. I have to say it again, but uh, this is a great way to actually. And one thing that we do have to mention is that they actually saying in the end that this one, is not a public and might change in the future. But as we are seeing right now, it's a great way to actually have your, uh, to be able to create your object space, to be able to bring your objects and so on. Okay, and now let's review everything quickly. 
if you see here, we're creating an, we're creating our we get our application, we create an object space, we get the object domain one, and we call the JavaScript function in it the extreme data grid. And if we go to the index yes, we, we have that uh, init dev extreme data grid when we are passing that uh, data source that is the source that we are sending here. If you see, we are passing. Oh, okay, it here. Javier, I have a question. I think that you're more like um, into this like example than me. I mean, you know it from before somehow. So the main question is, what are you showing me? Is a control or is an editor? So right here. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. I think that we have to show. Okay, we are in this uh, page folder and we have a component dashboard racer, but that should be called grid racer or anything. And if we open it, okay. So so far we only have a component, basically that is hosting whatever control you want. It doesn't matter which control, but you have a component, a component, basic component, right? Hosting we, something. Exactly. Okay. And we are referring to it through this uh, add page attribute. So this is slash dashboard. That's what. And let me show the view item. That's what we are passing here. So if you see, we are passing that URL. And actually, let's do an improvement here. That I didn't. I actually didn't show this in my uh, last video about dashboard control integration. We do this, and it's better because this way it doesn't matter what URL you have. You deploy yeah. to different oh, domain, to different. Exactly. So let's just leave it like that, and come back to the component. So right here, if you see, we are invoking a JavaScript function from uh, or net dot net code, right? Uh, using the GS runtime, but if we go a little down, we have this update record caller that is a GS invocable. So from JavaScript, we're gonna call this method to, to, to update the data. So it's a really great, I, I really like this implementation because again, if you think about this for a second, you will have your uh, JavaScript component that is your grid in this case, you will be able to code, to call the, for example, the JavaScript function to send the data so the, the grid know where to get the data, how to interact, and then from there you can come back and call your .NET code and update your record and change things. Is so I, ba I, so ba basically this will save you all the time that you will spend doing a web API because usually the idea with DevExtreme is like you create a web service that it only provides the service like JSON for example and some authentication like OData did before. Well, remember we use OData a lot with you. So I guess the idea with this is like, well, I don't have to do all the boilerplate code to host a service to expose something. You already have the object space there. So you just put the control and it will work just like that. I mean. The great thing about Blazor server is that we have client and server on the same project. Mm -hmm. So we just need to know what part of our code is going to be executed on the client and what part is going to be executed on the server. But in this case, I, I'm really enjoying the, the capabilities that we, we can, achieve that's why we did i i couldn't go to sleep without at least reviewing this with you Jose, because it's a great thing and if you see we have this deep that will be our controller and with a grid id we are initializing the grid here then we have an action that is this update record action that we are uh, invoking it later through this gs invocable that is being called from javascript and invoking that action to update that record so no, we have, and, we have and, everything we need here and actually the implementation is really neat because depending on how you think and this can be more like difficult to see and there you have everything in just one component hook up, hook up everything that you want anything it's the same idea basically so you can get this and then you can put i don't know anything from the extreme or whatever else javascript control that you want in general and because in here you you can create objects you have the object space you have the application so basically you have access to everything. So you will have access to, to everything basically from JavaScript, if you see it like that, because you can do it from the components. So, so yeah, if, huge if possibilities. You think, if you think about this now, any control that we have in DevExtreme, that GAN control, and we can even do a quick search here, DevExtreme control. Let's see what we have. Look, anything we have here, we, we can integrate it. It's just a matter to know how to send data and get data. That's mm -hmm. it. Call JavaScript and JavaScript call the net and update everything. So how many controls do they have? Well, they have a lot. I don't know how many, but yeah, look, yeah. At this, look at this, look at this, look at this. 
Yeah, and, and all of them are really mature, actually. So they are like not new, not as new as Blazor, at least. So whatever you want for the UI, you have it there. And, uh, again, and again, I'm not the, I would say the more JavaScript oriented guy, but I think that it, the, that interaction opened the world for a lot of possibilities. So definitely, uh, of course, we don't have the need for the, in a project right now, but if you have something, you don't have to wait for the official release of the scheduler, of the dashboard, of the charts. You can definitely right now go and integrate. And the thing is that you don't need as much uh, JavaScript actually, because I, I see the snippet and they're really small. So it's not that you're going to have to write everything on JavaScript basically. So the so, really need. So let's, before we finish the video, let's just summarize. If you want to, a integrated control, you create your component. And this is, again, this is awesome. You will have your uh, application here. You will have, you can create object space. You can do anything with the object space, bring data from the database, create new object and so on and so on. You can call your JavaScript. So you will have to create a JavaScript file. Then you go and refer and link it on the, right here, on the host. And one important part that we are missing here is in the app razor. You need to also add additional assembly so it knows where to find that component. But with that one and the component view item so we can pass that new component, you're good to go. Find a, find a component, put it there. Find a component, put it there. And okay, Javier, I, I have a request for the next video. Which one? Uh, we need to take this example and change the control for something else and that one actually that gun, that gun control that and i will give kudos and i always like to say it to what is his name bonty for the uh, sample i is putting together uh, i definitely like that that gun control integration that sounds really 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 cool and not only that i would like to integrate the scheduler i also have that you know it's and all about time one question, there is no Gantt for, for web at the moment, right? For soft web, there is no Gantt in general. I, I'm not sure, I don't think so. I think that again, we can always integrate it as an integrated custom control, but... No, uh, no, I mean by, by default, but in, no. in this case you have, I mean, this is something really new. It's not like a normal grid, it's a Gantt grid. So it's something different. And if, if there is no other choices, like somewhere, then you have this, what else can you want? Ah, I just think that we have uh, done a lot of uh, tricks, a lot of black magic to get the application everywhere we need. And now we can, do, we can only say application provider, get application. Boom, done. So, all right, guys, just a quick video. We, I, I couldn't go to sleep without reviewing this and I'm really excited. So, yeah, bye.